Conversations with coaches continue, and we have the most recently minted assistant coach for Virginia Tech football, Jack Tyler, the man, the myth, the legend. That's what I call him, at least. Now linebackers coach. Jack, first of all, congratulations. There were so many people inside this building and outside this building that were really excited to hear that news. None more so than you, I would imagine. Uh, but take us through your journey, because since I've been here, which is now six years, you've been here in various roles, working your way up, and it's not always a glamorous ladder to climb uh, to a to a full time assistant job. Yeah, I mean, uh, thank you. Um, you know, I'm so appreciative of Coach Fu, Coach Ham for giving me this opportunity. Um, but like you said, being a graduate assistant, it actually it it helps you in so many ways, kind of get to this point because you're involved in everything, not just the football side, but academics, um, recruiting. Uh, life in general for all the players. Um, so it kind of brings everything, culminates everything together um, to where you kind of learn about everything. It's not just the X's and O's of football, but you learn all the other behind the scenes, film breakdown and all those kind of things. And um, it helps you so much along the way get to this point because um, now that I'm kind of sitting in different shoes, I know what those guys are going through first and foremost, but um, you know, I kind of have uh, built such a, a solid foundation of, of skills and um, of, of different uh, aspects of this program um, to kind of help me get to this point. You and I had a great conversation, I uh, can't even remember how long ago now, at some point during this quarantine, and, and you were talking about what an influence Bud Foster has been on your life, first as a player, of course, then as a graduate assistant, and how you're molding your personality as a coach. I know you still talk to Bud all the time, so do I. Uh, throughout the course of the week, but you got to learn and interact with some new voices last year. I was curious, you know, what has that added to your base of knowledge? Guys like Tracy Clays, Bill Tierlink, who have certainly been at a number of different other places. Um, it's been unbelievable, to be honest. I mean, I, I played for Bud, um, coached under Bud, so I knew his scheme and how he kind of wanted to go about business. Um, so when Coach Ham got his opportunity, they brought in Tracy and Coach Link, Coach Tapp, Smitty. Um, what that did for me was I got to learn new aspects and new visions and new ways about going uh, and doing things. Um, so it just helped me with my progression and uh, you know I got to just see on a daily basis different ways of doing things you know from like I said earlier in academics and um, you know life and how they treated people and it wasn't just Coach Foster's way anymore it was kind of a new way a new era of, of doing things and um, it was so unbelievable because I had, you know, it was almost 10 years of one way and I got to see it, things totally differently. And, uh, you know, it, it was so good for me to be able to experience that. Now, when you look at the construct of this defensive staff, where Jay Ham, of course, one of the younger coordinators in the country, Ryan Smith, just a young person in general, yourself as well, Bill Tierlink's the old guy of the group, I guess, and he's not, I think he's younger than me. Right. Uh, you know, as you guys form together and try to kind of form that recruiting message defensively and that philosophy, how much fun is that to just kind of start from that base of youth? Oh, it's awesome. Um, there's just so much energy in our room right now. There's, there's, you know, the energy of youth, right? So, um, you know, we brought, we've had so many new ideas get brought in, and, and one of those was um, just we kind of recruit as a whole staff, which has, I think, been awesome. You know, you don't, there's not as much anxiety of, you know, I'm recruiting my guy or whatever it is. It's more a group effort, and I think that's awesome because they see the different personalities of the room. They see, um, you know, Coach Link and Coach Schmidt and Coach Ham and how they kind of go about their ways of recruiting and how that differs from my way and how we can all, all, all we can all touch you know each player and each recruit and um, it's been I mean it is a ton of fun I, I enjoy every single day when my two feet hit the ground it's I, I wake up and get a cup of coffee and I'm excited to go to work it's just I mean we have so much fun so much laughter um, in that room I mean it's a blast. The position group that you take over now, of course, a big departure, Rayshard Ashby, who is just such a rock for this defense. But at the same time, that room is anything but bare. Dax Hollyfield still there and all the energy yeah. that he brings. Allen, I think we've been trying to find ways to get on the field more and more uh, and just had a problem of numbers at times. Uh, what does that group look like in your mind in terms of who will take the field? I know it's a long time from now to September. Well, first of all, they're a special group. They're a special group of young men. Um, they're an unbelievable group to get to go work with. Uh, they're just so energized and um, so motivated to do what's best on and off the field. And I think that's what I value the most from that group. And um, like you said, Dax and Allen are kind of the senior uh, leaders of that group, but uh, 
Dean Ferguson, Keyshawn Artis, um, E.C. Atute comes in, and he's going to be a big-time star for us. Uh, Trey Maxwell, Michael Peterson, Ben Skinner. we got a bunch of guys, Matt Johnson, that um, they've all been there and done that, and they, uh, you know, there's, they're a wonderful group, and, um, you know, I can't wait to, you know, they're, they're kind of mine now, you know. I get to be their father figure, and uh, I can't wait to get to, you know, go to work with them and, and, and have some fun. As you are at this stage in your career, uh, father figure, yes, but you're not old enough to be anybody's father at this point. <laughs> well, you could be, but just not a college-age student. Um, what is that dynamic like? Because you're still young enough to kind of relate to what these guys are, are into and, and, and what their college days are about because you're not all that far removed from yours. Yeah, I think it helps me because I do know what they're going through, and I am not that far removed. So I know exactly uh, the slang, the lingo. I, I can kind of... Um, you know, I'm kind of still at their same level in terms of those kind of things. I know um, just because uh, the eras aren't that far apart, I know what they're looking for, what they, uh, what their hopes and dreams are. I kind of relate to all that stuff. I know who they're listening to with music. I know what shows they're watching because I'm watching those too. I'm listening to the same music. Um, so it helps me just because it helps me, uh, you know, get closer to them and feel more connected with them. And, um, you know, I think that has helped me get to this point is that because my connection with them is so great that, uh, you know, I feel like I can, um, you know, help them more um, and help them kind of guide through their lives and their college experience. Take me back, Jack, to the beginning of what was a very chaotic season from a COVID sense. Uh, we talked with Ryan Smith about his unexpected role as play caller against NC State. And then Smitty's gone, Ham's gone, everybody's gone. We got Jack against Duke. What was that day like, uh, particularly down the personnel you were, but then to see a guy like Tyler Matheny have the first half that he had, having been, of course, a walk-on legacy like you were? Oh, it was, I mean, first of all, Coach Fuente deserves so much credit for that because this summer he had prepared us for that, and he kind of had the foresight, well, what if these things happen? So I knew in the summertime, well, I was kind of that next man up, and I knew that if that time ever came, um, that I'd be prepared because I'd kind of already thought about, well, if I'm in that situation, what would I do? How would I go about that week of work? Um, so it was kind of a, it was a chaotic week, but it's funny because it was par for the course for this year, right? So, um, you know, uh, we, we learned Smitty was going down about halfway through the week. So it was pretty normal up until that point. He went down and then, um, you know, I just, I, for me, I didn't want to let anybody down. I didn't want to let my family down, my friends the team, the players, the coaches, uh, everybody, right? Smitty Ham, who I knew were back home. I didn't want to, I didn't want to let anybody down. And uh, so that week I just worked as hard as I possibly could to prepare. Um, I knew that it would be um, difficult, um, but I also felt prepared because of Coach Fuente and kind of knowing my role and where I kind of fit into things and uh, knowing Coach Ham's system. And, um, you know, it's kind of a dream come true for me and something I'll never forget. Um, and then on top of that, for a guy like Tyler Matheny, who I recruited, I brought him here, uh, that um, he was a walk-on. And it was kind of cool because I know um, what that meant to his parents, getting to talk to them through the recruiting process. Because he could have gone to UVA on a full-ride wrestling scholarship. And I kind of, in my own way, talked him out of that to come play football here um, and kind of sold him on what happened with me. And to see that come to life, uh, the same game that it kind of came to life, my dreams and aspirations, um, it kind of left me speechless after the game. It was just a, a very cool feeling and something I'll never forget. Jack, it's been a pleasure, man, not only uh, today, but getting to know you, seeing you get to this position. So I speak for Hokies sometimes when I shouldn't, but this is one occasion I don't think they'll mind. Uh, we're all so thrilled, and congratulations again. Well, I appreciate it very much.